Okay, this is video number two and I'm going to show you here the next step of the first video I showed you how to download and install Adobe Edge and how to get started. Now I'm going to start working on the project. Here's the project I'm going to work on. I'm going to replace the website, the banner I've got in here on the website and I'm going to create an HTML5 version in Adobe Edge because this is Flash. You can see here this is the version in Flash which obviously doesn't work on the iPhone and the iPad. So first I want to find out how big this is, what the dimensions are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of the website. I'll jump into Photoshop. I'm going to create a new document. And I'll just paste the content of the clipboard. Okay, I'll zoom into 100% view. And I'm going to measure it. So I'm going to open the info panel, window info. I'm going to use the ruler tool. Okay. I'm going to measure the width. I'm holding down the shift key to create and move it in a straight line. So this is uh, 298, also 300 pixels, let's say, 300. Okay, I'm actually going to make it a bit narrower, the same width as this column here. So this will be about 290. So 290, okay, for the height. This one is 194, so I'm going to make it 190. So 290 wide and 190 high. So I'm going to jump into Edge and I'll create a new project here. When Edge opens, let me just move it a bit so you can see the entire Edge window. Okay, just a bit uh, wider here. Create a new, so I'm going to create, call it advert. Okay, I'm going to make the stage 290 pixels wide, 190 pixels high, and I'll make it black. Here we go, black stage color. Okay, so this is the stage dimensions, right? Now the next step will be to import the assets. I'm going to import the images that I'm going to use in this animation. So I'll go to File, Import or Control r or command r it's exactly the same keyboard shortcut as in Adobe Flash. So import. I'm going to navigate to desktop. I've got a full day in here on my desktop called Advert. I'm going to import all these images here, the images of the Adobe products and the HTML5 logo and my company's logo. And I'll click open. Now all the images appear here on the stage, so I'm going to delete them for now. I'll just press delete key on the keyboard. Okay. That, that's fine, they've gone from the stage, but they're here in the library. So if you look in the library panel on the right hand side, you should see all the images that I use. Okay, I've got them all in here, because I'm going to animate them one at a time. So this is our stage. When you have nothing on stage, or when you have nothing selected, the properties panel, like in Flash or other applications, will display the properties of your stage or your document. So in this case, we've got the dimension of the document, the background color that we set up, the composition ID, this will be used when we export it to HTML5, okay. This is our document window. This is the, the elements panel will display the layers in here as we start adding more content. There'll be all diff tags, we've got one diff tag right now called stage. And we've got a timeline here at the bottom, okay. That's what we're going to create the animation. So I'm going to start bringing in the images. I'm going to bring in the first image. Okay. And I'm just going to use Photoshop as an example. I'm just going to drag and drop it from the library onto the stage. And what first thing you're going to notice is when you move the content, when you drag it, Edge displays the position, the coordinates of the image. So if I move the cursor into the top left corner, I'm going to see the smart guides as well, these color lines, and the coordinates 0 and 0. Now initially it's going to appear off the stage, so I'm just going to put it somewhere around here, right now. I've got the move tool selected, the selection tool, the move tool, and I'm going to position the image on the stage. Okay. New layer appears in the elements panel, Photoshop CS6. Okay. And here in the timeline, I've got Photoshop CS6 as well. Okay, I've got this playhead here. There's nothing happening here yet. We will start animating it in just a moment. 
Okay. We've imported the assets, we've put the first image on the stage, and in the next video we're going to start animating it.